adventures with Willy. Let's go, go, go. Hey! Willy, Willy, the pineapple friend. Learning is fun, don't you know? Hey, hey, hey. Adventures with Willy. Let's start the show. Woo! Aloha, beach detectives. Today, we're pulling together all of our top safety tips into one big beach mission. From cracking the secret code of beach flags to learning how to spot and escape tricky rip currents, we're going on the ultimate safety adventure. So grab your detective badges, keep your eyes on the waves, and let's unlock the secrets to staying safe, smart, and ready for fun at the beach. Pineapple Willies presents Willie's Secret Code of Beach Safety Flags. Aloha, little beach detectives. I'm Willie the Pineapple. And today, we're unraveling the secret code of beach safety flags. Let's have a blast and crack the code to stay safe at the same time. Beaches use special flags to talk to us, just like secret agents use codes to communicate. Each flag has a different message, and it's our mission to decode them. Our adventure begins with the yellow flag, a subtle caution sign. It warns of potential hazards, like strong currents or hazardous conditions. Stay close to shore and stay sharp, fellow agents. Ah, the red flag. Our signal to halt all aquatic operations. It indicates danger, such as rough waves or hazardous conditions. Remember, safety is our top priority. So heed the warning and build a sandcastle instead. Look at this mysterious purple flag. It's like an invitation to the secret society of dangerous marine life. If you spot it, be extra cautious and maybe take a break from swimming. Safety first, undercover agents. Brace yourself, agents. When you see not one, but two red flags flying together, it's a high security alert. The water is off limits due to strong currents, storms, or other dangers. Stay alert and keep away from the water. Our flag mission isn't over yet, detectives. Check out the green flag. It's like the beach flag is giving us a high five and telling us the water is safe for swimming. But remember to always be aware and alert, even on green flag days. Never swim alone, and always make sure your parents can see you. Look at all of these flags. Can you tell me which one means the water is closed and not safe to enter? That's right, two red flags flying together. Can you tell me which flag means it's safe for swimming? That's right, detective, the green flag. But remember to always be aware and alert, even with green flags flying. Which flag is telling us to be cautious of dangerous marine life in the water? Yep, the purple flag. Can you tell me which flag means the water is dangerous with rough waves and hazardous conditions? That's right, the red flag. If you see this flag flying, it's best to stay out of the water and build a sandcastle instead. No matter what flag is flying, always remember to be aware of the conditions in the water. Water conditions can change anytime, anywhere, so always be on the lookout. That concludes our mission, little beach detectives. Remember, knowing your flags is like cracking a secret code to stay safe and happy. 
Until our next undercover assignment, stay vigilant, little agents. Adios and goodbye, fellow agents. Apple Willie's presents Willie's Guide to Rip Currents. Aloha, Beach Buddies. I'm Willie the Pineapple, and today we're having fun at the beach. But we also need to stay safe. Today, we're going to learn about rip currents, how to spot them, and what to do if you get caught in one. Let's learn more about them together. Since we're going swimming, it's super important to wear a life vest. A life vest helps you stay afloat, especially if you get tired or caught in a rip current. Plus, they come in all sorts of cool colors and designs. Which one is your favorite color? Rip currents are strong, narrow currents of water that flow from the shore out to the sea. Even on a calm, sunny day like today, they can form anytime, anywhere, and are super strong. So it's important to know how to spot them and what to do if you get caught in one. Rip currents often look like a river of water moving away from the shore. They might have foam, debris, or a different color than the water around it. If you see an area where the waves aren't breaking, that might be a rip current. Remember, it's always best to stay out of the water in those spots. If you ever find yourself caught in a rip current, stay calm. Don't try to swim straight back to shore. The current is too strong. Instead, swim parallel to the shore, along the beach. Once you're out of the current, you can swim back to the shore at an angle. Remember, staying calm is the key. Make sure you stay where your parents can see you. They're there to keep you safe and help you if there's any trouble. It's always more fun to play where everyone can see and enjoy the beach together. I love using the buddy system. Always have a friend with you when you're in the water. You can look out for each other and have double the fun. If something happens, your buddy can get help right away. It's important to learn what the beach safety flags mean. They can tell you about water conditions, but remember, rip currents can still form even when the flags say it's safe. Always stay alert and be prepared. Quiz time! Which color life vest would you choose? Oh, great choice! I love that one too! What are some signs that there is a rip current? Right, churning water, debris, different color, or no breaking waves. Which direction should you swim if you get caught in a rip current? That's right, parallel to the shore. And once you're out of the current, swim back to shore at an angle. Why is it important to stay close to your parents at the beach? Correct! So they can keep you safe and help if needed. Can rip currents still form even when the flags say it's safe? Yes! Always stay alert. Rip currents can form anytime, anywhere. Remember friends, the beach is fun but we need to stay safe. Wear your life vest, stay close to your parents, use the buddy system, and know what to do if you get caught in a rip current. Thanks for joining me on Adventures with Willie. Stay safe and have fun. Willie. Mission complete, beach detectives. Today, we cracked the code of the safety flags and learned how to outsmart tricky rip currents. Now you've got all the tools to stay safe while having fun at the beach. Remember, keep your eyes on the flags, swim smart, and always stick with your buddies. Until our next big adventure, 
Stay safe, stay sharp, and keep splashing. <laughs>